Hi everyone and welcome to the Freelance channel. My name is Florante and in today's video, we're going to talk about enabling two-step verification on PayPal business accounts. If this is your first time to be here on the Freelance channel, consider subscribing. We provide you with tutorials, tips, interviews of successful freelancers, and at the same time, some useful information on how you can better your freelancing. All right, so in today's video, we're going to talk about PayPal two-step verification for business accounts. All right, so basically the first thing that you need to do is to, of course, log into your PayPal account. Once you are logged into your PayPal account, uh, what you need to do is to click on the gear icon on the upper right hand corner of your screen. And from here, you will have to choose your profile. So you just have to click on the your profile link. Okay, so under your profile, you will see their login and security. And also, you will see their two step verification. So all you have to do is to click on update. Once you have that click, you will have uh, this window where you can choose the different options. So there are three options on how you can add two-step verification on your account. And that is via text code, an authenticator app, or via a security key. So we're going to make use of the authenticator app since that is one that I have right now and we're also going to use text code uh, unfortunately I don't have a security key that I can demonstrate to you how to use so we'll skip that one for now so I'll go ahead and choose use an authenticator app so you just have to tick the button for that and then click on set it up so from here what you will have to do is to Open your Authenticator app. So currently, I'm making use of Google Authenticator. What we'll need to do is to scan this QR code. So let me open my mobile phone. I'll go ahead and open Authenticator. So this Google Authenticator app is free. It's available on the App Store as well as on Google Play Store. So to add, I'll just go ahead and tap on the plus sign on the Authenticator app and then scan barcode. All right. So since that one's been scanned, I'll go ahead and scroll down to find PayPal. And you will see there the code 199951. That's the one that we're going to enter. And then I'll just go ahead and click on confirm. So we've now successfully added two-step login and that's using the Authenticator app. The next thing is via a text code. So you can go ahead and choose the existing mobile number that is associated to your account or you can also uh, click on the drop down and you can use input a new phone number if you would like to use a different number. So I'll go ahead and use the existing number that's listed on my account. Then I'll click on next. All right, so I should be receiving a text message with the six digit code. Okay, so the code is 810899. So I'll go ahead and input that same number and then click on confirm. So that is for the text code verification. So it's very simple, very easy to do. It's going to give you the security that your account needs so you can at least prevent any unnecessary access to your account the next time you log in you'll be pr 
prompted to enter your code. So you have two options. You can either generate via the Authenticator app or you can click on Try Another Way to choose the other option that you have set up. So that is how simple and how easy it is to set up the two-step verification for your PayPal business account. And with this simple step that you're going to do, it's going to give you a lot of confidence that you have an extra layer of security for your account. So be sure to set it up and be sure to uh, enable this so that you can you know, have a peace of mind that at least even if uh, somebody gets your password, they will still have that extra uh, level of security that they will need to hurdle so they can get into your account. So that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions of topics, please, I'm open to that. You can leave those in the comments. And for those who are leaving comments, I try my best to answer any questions that you have. But of course, there are those that I won't be able to answer. So let's be, uh, I hope you understand. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Florante. I hope to see you in the next video. And course, leave the dream life without leaving the home.